Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I am very excited that you're here. I decided to bust out my most favorite sparkle bomb piece that I've ever made. Um, it is the champagne on ice. I don't know if you can see it really well with this lighting, but um, I will do a close up of it because I had my first ever sample sale this weekend. It was so exciting. I just decided to try something different and I have a lot of pieces here in my studio that were either like pieces that I just made as like samples, like one-offs, things I was experimenting with. Um, and then also just stock from, you know, a few years ago when I first started my line. Anyway, <laughs> it was insane. The amount of things people bought, um, how quickly people were buying things. It was just so exciting, so much fun. And if you're one of the people who bought something, I just want to say thank you because it really means a lot to me that people like these pieces that I come up with in my head and then make with my little hands. So anyway, that's why I'm rocking my champagne bucket necklace today. Um, okay, so switching gears. Um, who wants to talk trash about Louis Vuitton? <laughs> okay, so you probably have seen my first video about my Louis Vuitton Mon Monogram bag. If you haven't, um, you can watch it if you want. I've had the bag for 10 years and that's what the video was about, kind of seeing, you know, how it wears and what one of these bags looks like after 10 years. So um, that was a really fun video to make. And then in the video, I said that I was trying to figure out what to do because some of the paint had worn off. So um, what I decided to do was actually reach out to Louis Vuitton and see if they could help me. So I'm gonna read you some of like the back and forth. Okay, first I called and they said, okay, you need to send an email and send some photos. So I was like, okay, cause I don't have a Louis Vuitton store near me. So, um, I wrote and I just said, hi, I would like to find out how to get the paint on my Mon Monogram Never Full Touched Up. Here are some photos and you can reach me, blah, blah, blah. So I sent them um, a bunch of photos, close-ups of the paint wearing off on my back. So they wrote back and they said a bunch of stuff, but essentially it said, we do not provide a specific warranty or a lifetime guarantee for our product. Repair services may be offered based on the specific assessment of your item, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for submitting your photos. Our quality experts have reviewed your photos and determined the concerned area to be linked to a normal progression of wear. Eh, blah, 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 blah. That was pretty much it. So I was like, okay, wait, so can you repaint my bag? I, and then I realized, oh, they think that I want it repainted for free. So I wrote back to clarify and I was like, um, I said something like, I am more than happy to pay to have it repainted. I understand, you know, it's not guaranteed for life. So then they wrote back and said, dear Flannery, thank you for contacting Louis Vuitton. It is regrettable to hear we are unable to offer a resolution specific to your case. Please be assured that your comments have been noted. And then that was it. So it was like, okay, so is that a no? I can't pay to have it repainted. So I wrote back and just said, um, <laughs> I'm a little confused by your email. Just wanted some clarification. And then they wrote back and said, Dear Flannery, thank you for contacting Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton's Bond Monogram Service is a custom creation service where stripes and or initials may be requested for Louis Vuitton's iconic speedy, never full, blah, 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 blah. Mon Monogram is offered during the point of purchase. We regret the option is unavailable post-purchase. We apologize for any inconvenience, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, wait, do they think that I want them to put 
stripes and initials on a bag that never had stripes and initials on it. Um, basically, the whole thing was very confusing. And what I just decided is that, okay, they don't want to do that. So um, that option apparently is off the table. So then the question is, what do I do now? Okay, so I thought to myself, you know what? I'm pretty handy. I have my own jewelry line. I make all my jewelry. Um, maybe I could try repainting the stripes myself. Um, and granted, the jewelry I make and painting are two totally different things. But I thought maybe it'd be worth a try because honestly, I was like, what else do I do? They won't repaint it. The bag looks terrible. Um, so I started doing a little research and I found out about a brand of paint called Angelus. And that is a brand that's made specifically for painting on things like leather and canvas, which, you know, the Neverfull is a canvas bag. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I should try it. So I went to my local art supply store and uh, there was a woman there who was very helpful. So. I bought some stuff. Um, the first thing I bought was the leather preparer and deglazer. So this takes the finish off that's left over. And then she told me to tape it really well um, to kind of like seal in. Cause my goal was just to paint the middle stripe. Cause that's really the one that had the most like wear and where the paint was coming off the most. The two pink stripes on the outside really don't look that bad. Um, and then she said to take this neutral, which is like a clear, and after you tape it to go along the sides, and this helps to like fill in maybe any cracks so that the colored paint doesn't bleed through. Actually, actually, first thing I did was go online to buy a paint sample, and I bought this one, Emerald 5, and it is not the right color. <laughs> so then when I went into the store, I took my bag, and then I determined that South Beach was the color that I wanted. So um, it's really, really close. I don't think it's the exact same color, but I think it's pretty close. And I think it's a really cool color anyways. And then finally is the satin finisher because she thought that was the finish that was on the bag to begin with. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a terrible idea, but I don't really know what else to do. I love this bag. And it's been in the closet for a few years now just because it looks bad. So I want to bust it out again and start using it. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Let's hope that this turns out. <laughs> okay. And one more thing I wanted to talk about, of course, outfit of the day. And I want to start with my lip gloss because I cannot tell you how many people comment on social media, on YouTube, wanting to know what color lipstick I'm wearing. So today I am wearing L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in number 302, which is Fuchsia Amnesia. This is like my third bottle of this because I love this color. Um, You know, my jewelry sparkle bomb, I've got happy pill ring, F ring, and my dress is Amanda Upprichard. And this is one of my most favorite dresses of all times. And um, it's 100% silk. I bought it, I think it was on Revolve or Saks Fifth Avenue. And it was pricey. I think it was probably $400. But it's a good example of investment dressing because I bought this dress like so long ago. I don't even know. I'll have to like look back. Maybe like at least five, maybe eight, maybe 10 years. And I wear it every single summer. I mean, it's a classic style. It's neon pink, so who doesn't like that? <laughs> and um, yeah, so just kind of wanted to say that because I, you know, my grandma was French. My mom has a very French attitude about style and you should buy quality pieces, it's better for the planet, all that stuff. Um, so this is a good example. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like me some H&M, um, but I mean, really it is like the best thing to do is buy high quality pieces and then you just like wear them forever. So anyway, <laughs> okay, I guess it's time to go pick
paint my Louis Vuitton bag. Can you tell I'm stalling? <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, so the very first step before I even started filming was using the Leather Prepper and Deglazer. So I rubbed that on, and be careful because that stuff is pretty strong, and it even started to take my nail polish off. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using the tape, and um, just taping really carefully along the lines, and trying really hard to seal it up and then I use the neutral color and let it dry and then I got the South Beach color and after the neutral dried I went ahead and started painting that on and I think the color is absolutely gorgeous then oh make sure you tape every little part I forgot about that bottom piece and yeah just Paint it and then let it dry. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? Okay, yeah, that bottom piece didn't seal too well. But let's see. So that looks pretty clean. Pretty clean. Oh, okay. And now we've got some issues oh my god that looks terrible okay so that did not work wait let me see and this that looks better okay that this side's looking better oh oh no oh no oh no oh no no oh god <laughs> okay and now is when I'm questioning whether or not this was actually a good idea. Okay, um, so I think what I'm gonna do is try to use that uh, leather prepper and deglazer and um, see if I can touch it up a little bit. So I am using the leather prepper and deglazer as kind of like a nail polish remover <laughs> and um, just trying to get, just trying to clean up the edges of the line with it. And um, you just have to be careful because this stuff is really strong and it actually could start to remove the pink paint, which is the last thing I wanted to do. But um, yeah, it cleaned it up, um, although it was pretty labor intensive. Okay, so I painted the bottom of the bag first off camera, then I painted the back, which you just saw. And so I am now doing the front of the bag and I wanted to do that last, that way I had some practice because obviously the front's the most important part of the bag. So I'm starting with the leather prepper and deglazer, um, as you saw, and then I decided to actually go without the tape because in the last clips, as you saw, when I peeled the tape off, it was just a hot mess. So I don't know if I didn't give the neutral color enough time to dry or if it's the fact that this Louis Vuitton canvas has a lot of texture. Um, whatever the reason, it just didn't work. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try freehanding it. So um, that's what I did. I started with a little tiny brush and then got a bigger brush. And really, I have this big magnifying um, thing that I use for my for making my jewelry. It's a oh, magnifying light. So you can't see it here on camera, but I'm using it just so that I can really get all the little details. So um, honestly, I think this worked better than the tape. So this was actually pretty exciting to see their dramatic change because this bag has looked bad for so long. And to think this whole time I could have just painted it, but you know, who knows? I mean, it's a thousand dollar bag, so you don't want to do anything stupid. So um, you can see that I did have a couple little boo-boos. And so I used the uh, leather deglazer um, on those 
to kind of clean them up, but um, not too many. I mean, honestly, this was way better than the tape. All right, guys, I did it! I did my Louis Vuitton bag, and I want to reveal it to you now. Ta-da! Here it is. The bottom. The back. It looks like a brand new bag. Well, I don't know about brand new, but it looks really, really good. So, I am really impressed and I'm really shocked at how easy it was. Once I kind of got my technique down, again, what I would recommend is forget the tape thing. I mean, the tape isn't doing you any favors. <laughs> so um, yeah, just um, use the deglazing and then get yourself a big magnifying light and um, just go for it, freehand it. Uh, get some little teeny brushes, get some big brushes, um, and then once it's thoroughly dried, then put the satin finish on it. Okay, I'm gonna do a little before and after so you can see side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see on the left is the before and on the right is the after. Okay guys, thank you as always for being here, being part of my little world. Um, it's always fun to read comments. So um, yeah, I guess I'll do this again next week because I've been pretty good every single Thursday. I've been putting up a new video. So okay, see you later. Bye.